Hello everybody, my name is Matt Richardson and this is Getting Started with Intel Galileo. Thank you very much for coming to Maker Faire. I'm a contributing editor for Make Magazine. I'm also the author of Getting Started with Intel Galileo, which uh, has much more detail on what I'm talking about here. Um, and it's available to buy over there on the corner or in the Maker Shed. Um, and this session is really for people who don't know anything about Galileo and are curious about it, want to know a little bit more. Just going to give you a little bit of information really, really quickly because I know we're a little bit behind schedule on the stage. Um, so what is Galileo? Well, it's a hardware development board made by Intel. And if you don't already know what a hardware development board is, or you, know, you didn't catch Michael's talk before mine, it's a, way, it's a board that you can program to read inputs from the real world, like from sensors or from switches or from buttons and affect things out in the real world as well, like, uh, uh, you know, like motors, LEDs, video, stuff like that. Um, and it can connect to the internet and you can, let's say, make a sensor network if you want, something like that. Um, and there are tons and tons of development boards out there. In fact, last year we put out an issue of Make Magazine that did a good survey of boards. Now Intel came into the game and they wanted to be in on this and, and they, got their, they got a board out there called Intel Galileo. Now, how many of you are already familiar with the Arduino? Okay, good, oh wonderful. So this will be really easy because Galileo is a lot like the Arduino, except if you add a little bit of Linux to it, you get Galileo. Now there are boards out there that combine Linux and Galileo. And by the way, for those of you who aren't already aware of what Linux is, it's just a free operating system just like you use your computer with Mac OS or Windows, Linux is another operating system that you can use. You can download it for free, and there are many, many different flavors of it. And there's a particular flavor of this Linux operating system on Galileo. So in that sense, Galileo is more like a computer than an Arduino, which really is programmed to do a single thing. Now, there are a few boards out there and a few boards coming down the line that combine Linux and Arduino together. For one, there's the tray, which will be coming out pretty soon. I know they're in a beta program right now. And there's also the Arduino Yoon. Both of these combine Linux and Arduino together. Uh, the way they do it, though, is they have, this Linux, they have the Linux chip on it, the, the, the computer chip that runs the Linux operating system. And then they have the Arduino chip on it that has the same chip that an Arduino has, that, that Atmel chip. And they program them to talk to each other, those two chips on the board. Galileo works a little bit differently. It has a Quark SOC, a system on chip. It's the, basically a computer processor on a chip. And that chip emulates an Arduino. It acts like an Arduino. And there's the fine engineers at Intel who figured out how to get their chip, this Intel chip, to act like an Arduino, all while doing all that Linux stuff on the side. So it's a little bit different than those other Linux Arduino boards. There's a bunch of ways that it's very similar to an Arduino. For one, it has that same pinout. So if you have an Arduino shield, those expansion boards that you pop onto a regular Arduino, you can pop those on, most of those onto an Intel Galileo as well and use them. Um, also, if you see a tutorial online that shows you how to connect circuits to an Arduino, uh, you can use the Galileo instead if you'd like for most cases. One other cool thing is that you can use the Arduino development environment, the program that you use to program an Arduino, and you can use Arduino code to program Galileo. Now, in order to do this, however, you have to download a special version of the Arduino development environment, or the Arduino IDE, in order to do that. So, I want to talk a little bit about how Galileo is not like an Arduino, a typical Arduino. For one, it has a network connection on it built right in, an Ethernet connection, and the Linux side of the board really handles all of that, that, that connectivity side. If you, so if you want to connect this to your router um, or your home network, or if you want to connect lots of Galileos together on a network, you could use this e Ethernet port. If you want to go wireless, on the bottom there's a mini PCI Express port. Looks like that. You can snap in a Wi-Fi module into them. It's the kind of Wi-Fi module that's used in a laptop. You know, if you want to add uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, a lot of them have them built in already. Um, they're really cheap. It's like $20 for a Wi-Fi module. There are other modules that fit in there that do things like Bluetooth or uh, you know, GSM connectivity to connect to the cellular network. Um, those might work as well, but you're kind of in uncharted territory because the Galileo is so new. One other neat thing that gets overlooked about Galileo is because more, since it's more like a computer, it has that chip on it, it can also keep time. And I think there's a lot of people who use Arduino and they want to be able to keep time. Like, 
know what time of day it is so that they can, let's say, set a timer for something to happen, like make sure the garage door is closed or to turn on lamps or something at the same time. You can connect the small coin cell battery to Galileo and it'll keep the, and when you, un, when you take the power away from our uh, Galileo, it'll make sure the time is running. And so that, you know, like if you have a, um, if you add a clock, a real time clock to a regular Arduino, if you lose power to it, it'll lose track of the time of day. Um, one interesting thing I want to point out about Galileo is it's a little bit of a quirk that makes it a little bit different is this SD card. This SD card slot. You can put a little SD card in there, just like the kind you put into a camera, a micro SD card. Put it in there. You can save data from your project onto the SD card, or you can put an operating system, a more fully fledged version of Linux, on the SD card and have Galileo boot off of it. How many of you are familiar with programming with Python already, by any chance? Okay. So if you want to program Galileo with Python, you'll have to use the larger version of Linux, put that onto the SD card, and then boot Galileo off the SD card so that you can use Python. On, there is onboard memory on Galileo, but there's not enough to have the full Linux distribution, including Python on it. Programming it, as I said, is easy. You can plug it in. If you just use that Arduino development environment, you can do all the basic Arduino stuff, um, all that basic prototyping. Uh, if you want to get started with Galileo and you've never touched an Arduino before, you can do it. You just need a few things like a breadboard, LEDs, resistors. Um, there are a bunch of different kits out there that you can grab. Uh, sensors like accelerometers, uh, uh, light sensitive resistors, pressure sensitive resistors, buttons, temperature sensors. All these can get connected to Galileo. They're pretty cheap components. You can connect a servo motor or all different kinds of motors to it. Um, I'm about to show you a project also that uses stepper motors and servo motors to do some neat stuff. Or an LCD display like I have here. I, use, I made a project which is in the book Getting Started with Intel Galileo that tells you how many days until Make Magazine comes out. And it does that by going online and checking the for sale dates. And will display on the display so that you have it on your desktop. And of course, you can customize this project to tell you any kind of information you want from the web. If you want to see a Galileo project while you're here at Maker Fair, go to the Intel booth. They have a bunch of them set up. One of them is set up by Michael McCool. He's an Intel guy. Um, he has these pebbles laid out and little, um, little tweezers on a uh, XY plotter. You can move the tweezers around and try to pick up and move these pebbles. People are having a lot of fun trying it out. There's a camera so that you can remotely control the whole thing. Um, there are uh, plenty of different cool projects at the Intel booth if you want to check out Intel Galileo. Um, also, if you're looking forward to getting started with it, the book is available here at the Maker Shed. I'm already out of time, and I'm going to step aside if you have any questions about it. But thank you for watching, and, and thank you for coming to Maker Fair. Have a great day.